Right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is going to be opening up and checking out this pretty old, pretty interesting Magic the Gathering demo game for two players from the Starter Edition. It says not for resale right on it, but clearly I bought it online. Uh, it says Starter, $2 rebate offer inside. Not sure when they handed these out. I think they were like an early pack to kind of get new players into the game. It says it's a two-player game, so uh, obviously... Uh, it's for two players, and I'm pretty sure it's a quick little game that you can play with each other. Not really sure what cards are inside, but I'm pretty sure all of the same packs contain the same cards as well. I don't think it's randomized at all. And you got, like, the big old creature. I forgot the name of it. Some, like, Leviathan, I believe, from the starter set. Be cool if it's inside of here. I love the starter cards. I love how there's a little star in the corner. We're going to check that out in a minute. This says that this demo game contains 24 starter game cards from Magic the Gathering. The little R. Uh, trading card game. A tip card, a rebate card, and an instruction sheet. Everything two players need to play their first Magic game. So this is aimed towards uh, players to play their first game of Magic, really get them in the game. I'm not sure if card shops or shops gave these away to new people who are just interested in the game uh, without making them buy anything, which would be a really cool way to get people in it. It's Wizard of the Coast. When was this made? This was made in 1999. Pretty crazy. It's getting almost 20 years old now, this pack. These packs are obviously very thick. Um, I don't know how many cards are inside of it. Does it say? It doesn't say right now. I'm guessing maybe like 24 or something like that. Anyways, let's just open it up. Got the gold foiling on the back. On the edges, I mean. I have been opened up something like this before. A Portal Second Age one. So feel free to check that out if you'd like as well. So right off the bat, looks like it comes with uh, some planes I can see. And it looks like I have this big information sheet right here. They really get it in there and they really fold it up really nice and small. Alright, so start the demo game. These instructions take you step by step through a simple uh, sample magic game. So you can follow along with your cards. If you have questions during the game, take a look at the rules on the other side of the sheet. Uh, to start, you and your opponent each take one of the enclosed decks and draw five cards from it. You flip the coin to see who goes first. Uh, player A1, player A1 is Mons, Coblins, Raider. So I believe uh, somewhere there is, okay, I believe this is the partition of the decks right here. Two of the decks inside of it was, I believe, these tip cards right here. What to do during your turn? Play a land. Untap your tapped cards, draw a card from your deck, then play a land from your hand if you have one. Attack. Attack with some over all of your creatures if you want to. You don't have to attack. Tap all creatures you use to attack. Then defending player chooses which of his or her untapped creatures will block and which of your attackers they'll block. The defending player doesn't have to block. Uh, ground creatures can't block flying creatures. Each blocked attacker fights uh, that creature that blocked it. And each attacking each attacker that isn't blocked uses damage to your opponent. Play creatures. Play creatures from your hand. Tapping lands to pay for each of the determined uh, by its cost. So this deck is probably only going to have uh, creatures in it. It doesn't mention anything about instants or sorcerers or anything like that. And it just says something about attacking and blocking on the back as well. What is this? Some sort of card. Oh, so it's the two dollar rebate. You got to mail it in. Uh, please send me fifty card booster pack. Oh man, am I allowed to uh, <laughs> to still send this? That'd be pretty funny. Interesting. It says buy one Magic the Gathering starter. Game for two players. I definitely have had some in the past. I don't think I have the receipt. And uh, send your receipt off. They'll send you a booster pack and then a $2 rebate as well. Pretty cool. Fun little idea. I don't think they really have anything like that anymore. Maybe like email rebates or something like that. And it kind of goes by turn by turn what to do. We got like turn one. It tells you exactly what to do. Uh, uh, turn two. I'm pretty sure if we draw the first five car or seven cards, we're going to get a Mons Goblin and a Merfolk. Let's just see real quick. So this is going to be the Merfolk. There you go. I don't know why I'm thinking about drawing five. So that definitely got the Merfolk. It should be Mons Goblin's Raider. Yep, Mons Goblin's Raider, which is a rare, which is pretty silly. And they got two of them. Red deck is probably going to win. So yeah, um, you don't want to shuffle these decks. It doesn't say that, but you definitely don't want to shuffle these decks if you want it to go exactly how this went. So it tells you to play an island, play your uh, Merfolk the World Trident, it tells you to play a mountain, play your Mons Goblins Raider, and it kind of shows you how to set up the board. Got a good board state right now going on. And then what is this? Turn five, it goes to turn two. What what happens turn two? Yeah, you put another. Uh, you put a planes out, and then you play the Eager Cadet. 
And I played this fairy as well. My mom's goblin raider, I guess, got uh, discarded. He got hurt and died. And it looks like player uh, for turn three, you play a wind drake. And it has flying. For player uh, turn five, looks like there's quite a bit on the board right there. You got uh, an eagle, a falcon, a drake, octopus. You got the octopus with the giant octopus, the bears, and a hippo. I wonder who's going to win. Turn four. It doesn't really say the life. I wish it went along and told you how much life you have. But anyways, it's just a nice little simple game that you're supposed to follow step by step. And on the back of it, uh, it kind of tells you about like the casting cost, uh, the power and toughness. It talks about flying. Uh, what else we got? Beginning the turn to untap all lands, draw a card, attacking your opponent. Creature cards, it tells you they come in all colors, shows you the mana right there. Interesting, no black mana in this deck. It tells you about Mon's Goblin Raiders. You got the card name, the card type, it's a creature goblin. The card art, obviously, you got Mon Goblin Raider right there. Pete Ventures, great art, by the way. Love the moons in the background. It tells you the cost, uh, the power and toughness. The power is how much damage a creature can deal when it's attacks or blocks. Toughness is how much damage it takes to destroy that creature. Yeah, and then the text box, nothing really going on there. Anyways, I just want to kind of go through the rest of these cards here. And let's just see what this includes. Just if you're curious, because I know I am. Looks like I got just a Plains. I'm pretty sure this is uh, I love this Plains. Is this from Mirage or something like that? I love it. You got like the watering hole right down there. Got some bison or buffalo. Uh, some seagulls flying in the sky. Beautiful sky. This is drawn by Tom Wanderstone. Lovely art. Eager Cadet. Just a one creature. A one drop white for a one one. Uh, the Enthusiastics of Young Sharpened uh, by the Discipline of a Soldier by Scott M. Fisher. This guy's coming right at you. He's got a, the training ground, got an uh, arrow in this doll over there, or whatever that is, and then he's got a sword coming right at you. Got myself a giant octopus. Cool art, by the way, by John Matson. It's a 3 3 for 3 and a blue. Just a creature octopus. So much fun. And like this set was designed to get people into this game. Lovely art as well of it. And I love the symbol of the starter down there. Just a star. So much fun, I feel. Got myself a sea eagle, just a sea eagle, giant eagle. You can see just below the water, there's like a sea manatee or something like that. About to claw it with his hands and fly away with it. One in a blue, the flying. I love how the starter set had really thick text for like uh, abilities as opposed to the small little text for flavor text. Nowadays, cards have the same text font for each of them, probably to save cost, but I really like how they made the abilities really stand out, especially for new players. Great set. One one by Anthony. S. Waters. <laughs> Waters. Myself, a Royal Falcon. So it looks like the blue and white deck has a lot of flying creatures, which is pretty sweet, pretty evasive. And I doubt Mon's Goblin Raider is going to be able to block it. Royal Falcon, one and a white. Creature bird with flying. Flying from this tiny little square city down there. That's it. Hunter by instinct, weapon by training by Carl Kitchelow. It's a 1 1 creature with flying. Got myself an island, beautiful island. Love the shading of it. By Douglas Schulter, I was going to say. Probably Douglas Schulter, you can tell. Beautiful choppy water. The Windrake, I love the sky in this. Got the yellows all the way to the dark, deep purples right there, and the blue kind of Windrake. Tiny little yellow eyes going on there here. So much fun. By Zion Saunders. It's 2 2 with flying for 2 and a blue. A flyer with some, uh, yeah, it's just a Drake with some flying. I mean, another island by Douglas Schulter. A Knight Errant, one in a white. This guy's on his horse, riding around. Interesting bull cut. It's just a 2 2 creature by Dan Fraser. They even have the line right here, even if there's no text. Got myself another planes with the watering hole. The classic Merfolk of the Pearl Trident standing there with its trident. The Pearl Trident. One blue, it's a 1 1 creature. Are Mufix humans with fins or are, they human mere are humans mere folks with feet? I don't know. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Beautiful art. Another uh, island. Got a Willow Elf. I believe this is the second deck. And we'll count how many cards are in each deck. They're very thin decks. These, de these games aren't meant to really. I guess last. <laughs> it's just a just a sample game. This is a willow elf. I love this guy in the background. Hanging on a tree. Climbed up it with a big old rope. Got like a creepy little look on his face. It looks a little bit out of it. One green. Just a creature elf or one one. The forest lives in uh, the elf as the elf lives in the forest. Very true. Got an ogre warrior. Three and a red. This huge guy's got a crazy like weapon axe trident hybrid. He just found all the weapons on the battlefield and just kind of like soldered them together and called it a day. Got a crazy look on his face. All cut up. Mountains in the background. Assault and battery included. Yep. Jeff Miracola drew this as a 3-3 three, three for 3 and a red. I love this forest so much. So beautiful. Got the little hut in the background. Kind of in the treehouse right there. Got the water there. And love the detail texture on the branches right there. By Quentin Hoover. One of my favorite forests. Love it. 
Got some classic grizzly bears. Look at this. So beautiful. The colors, the depth, the hair on it. It looks like you can almost touch it. One in a green. You got two of the bears coming right at you. Creature bears to 2-2. Two, two. Don't worry about the provoking grizzlies bears. They come that way. <laughs> what is this? The bull hippo? Yep. Just a hippo with island walk, which is great because they do have islands. And island walk is. This creature is unblockable as long as defending player has an island in play. So if your defending player is an island in play, you're going to be getting through three damage every turn. Awesome. Three in a green for a bull hippo. Look at him. Crazy mouth. They say hippos are one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Very territorial. By Darren Better. Great card. An uncommon. Got myself a forest. So I didn't notice that the blue deck didn't seem to have any rares, but the rares in here were the Mons Goblin Raiders, which is interesting, even though it shouldn't be rare. But whatever. Uh, again, the forest with the hut. Oh, or the Goblin Hero. Actually, there's two rares in here then. This is a rare card. Can you believe it? It is three mana for a 2-2. Two -two. That's it. Three, uh, two and a red for a 2-2 two -two creature goblin. Wiping off his sword from all the blood. You got these two perished people there. Crazy. By Pete Ventures. This is a rare. Can you believe it? Nope. Look at this mountain. Beautiful. You got the sunset. The layers of the mountain. You got some trees. And then beautiful mountainscape by John Avon. Got myself a moon a spirit. Beautiful art. Some fairy. Their translucent wink. Got the moon in the background. Nice little looking like tapestry kind of on the side. One in a green. It's a creature flying. Uh, creature fair with flying. It's a 1-1. One, one. Cool. I like it. An uncommon. Got myself another forest. Beautiful forest. I love these forests. And I got myself a Mons Goblin Raider. This is the other rare, which is a rare, which is interesting. It's just one red for a 1-1. One, one. That's That classifies it as a rare. And it's a creature goblin. Love the art. The two moons in the background. Love the coloring on here by Pete Ventures. Just because they have a club doesn't mean they're organized. Exactly. And then you got five of them just standing there. You got like on top of a volcano. You can see the soot coming out from it. Love the depth. Love the picture. Beautiful art. And the last card I got is another mountain with the sunset going on. Anyways, these are very interesting little sets. Uh, I believe stores gave them away, but honestly, I have no idea where they came from. They say not for resale, so I don't think you were supposed to sell them. And uh, yeah, just an interesting set to get new players into the game. Really, not much going on here. Only creatures. No instant sorcerers or spells or anything like that. Very interesting to see that. There's literally only creatures in these decks. Uh, really start off the player super simple. Just with creatures attacking and blocking, that's pretty much why the tip card only said attacking and blocking on it. Nothing else like that. Take away the abilities of instants and sorceries. Really get down to the bare basics of the game to get a new player into the game as well. Love these products. So much fun. I wish that they still did things like this. I do think they give away starter decks that might be a little more advanced. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should get my hands on those as well in the future. Anyways, just have a lot of fun opening up and checking out these older Magic the Gathering products. Especially ones that I really have no idea about. Let me know if you guys ever had one of these when you were younger or have any idea where these kind of came from. Anyways, I just want to say thanks for stopping by, everybody. Hope you're doing wonderful today, and I'll catch you all on the next one. And now it's time to pick a new winner for the giveaway of the Kakapopo TCG Copper Dice. You have a choice of either the 20-sided dice or the 30-sided dice. These really nice, high-quality metal dice. Uh, if you entered in the contest, you left a comment on my video of the dice review with your favorite dinosaur. Uh, the previous winner, uh, Rock89, never responded. It's been over a week, so now I'm just going to be picking a new winner. Good luck to everybody who entered. And once I pick out your name, I will be messaging you on the comment that you left on my original video of the Kakapopo TCG Metal Dice Review and telling you where to contact me and to send me a message so I can exchange information that can get whatever dice you want out to you quickly. Anyways, good luck to everyone who entered. Just going to mix them up very well. Here we go. Looks like the winner is... Organic Flavor. Hey nerd, great view as always. My favorite dinosaur has uh, has got to be the Stegosaurus. Ironically, I have a soft spot for armored animals and reptiles. Yep, the Stegosaurus has like the armored back with the crazy spikes as well. Anyways, congratulations, organic fla organic flavor. I'm going to be uh, messaging you. You just have to message me back on the email I tell you to, uh, and let me know which dice you would like, and then you're also going to just be sending me your address so I know where to send it. Anyways, congratulations to everyone who participated, and the new winner is Organic Flavor. And just to show that all these are everybody, just going to pull out another one. So, yep, yeah, this is another person. These are everybody's comments right there. It takes a little while to cut them out, but honestly, it's a lot of fun to just get them all together and pick one randomly. Congratulations, Organic Flavor. Look out for your message. I'm going to be messaging you soon on the comment you left me. Anyways, hope everyone's having a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all on the next one.